Ruben Plaza Molina is the man of the day. The 35-year-old veteran used his experience to claim his first Tour de France stage success. The Spaniard spent 196 kilometers in the front and attacked at the right time, 20 kilometers to the line. He surprised his 22 breakaway companions. Ten years after his only Grand Tour success, it was during the Vuelta, Ruben Plaza offers his team Lampre their first victory since 2010. Last efforts before a little comfort, Bourg de Péage Gap is the story of a transhumance to the Alps. The stage 16 kept the riders in shape for the top category climbs of Wednesday as the ride today was 201 km long with just enough hills to suit the riders. In the first hour of a race that turned out to be nervous, 53 km were covered. Such a pace called for an hectic story. 12 riders went to the front, 11 started to chase, and the peloton insisted to stay in touch. The first 100 kilometers used some fuel. But once the race came into its second half, the peloton finally gave up. There was more air for the attackers in the front who ended up regrouping. Therefore, the breakaway was made of 23 men, of which the green jersey Peter Sagan, Wasson Hagen, Thomas de Gang, Matteo Trenton, or Pierre Federigo, who hoped to renew his exploit from 2006. With a 12-minute advantage, as they were approaching the two difficulties of the day, the Col de Cabre and the Col de Mans, both Category 2 climbs, the breakaway riders could dream of a stage success. Their cooperation ended less than 50 kilometers to the finish. The Australian Adam Hansen, a two-time state winner from La Vuelta and the Giro, wanted one from the Tour. Marco Haller caught him, but the Col de Mans doomed their ambition. Their pursuers swallowed them up. The 9-kilometer-long ascent with 5.6% gradient hurt some legs. Ruben Plaza chose to go alone as the others were gauging each other in the back. No one wanted to help Sagan, the most dangerous man. With the one-minute gap at the top, the Lamprey rider had a good shot. Despite a little fear in the descent where Beloki, his teammate, fell 12 years ago despite Sagan's desperate comeback attempt, Plaza consoled his team after Ricosta was forced to quit. Far behind in the peloton, Vincenzo Nibali tried to make the best of his day. The Italian narrowed his gap on Froome by 30 seconds. And Geraint Thomas was sent off the road in the La Rochette descent by Francis Warren and Barguil. The rest day will be much welcomed. After Ricosta unfortunately had to withdraw, we now have the liberty to go six stage victories. I've been feeling pretty well in the last two days. I went off in breakaways rather easily and today I managed to take the stage. We were very fast all day. I knew the end of the course thanks to the previous times we raced here in the Tour, like in 2013 when uh, Rick won, as a matter of fact. We gave the best of ourselves until the finish line. It's the fifth time this year that Sagan finishes a stage in second place. Tekle Manat came in 53 seconds adrift. The Yellow Jersey group arrived 18 minutes later. No change at the GC except for Tony Gallopin. The Frenchman was dropped in the Col de Mans and is replaced by another Frenchman, Warren Balguil. For the second time this year, the Tour de France riders are given a day off on Tuesday before the Digne Pralou stage on Wednesday. At the foot of the Alps, they will take a break and enjoy a little quiet. It also gives us the opportunity to admire the landscapes around Gap. <laughs>